If you're looking for a way to use up all of your extra sourdough discard, I found the perfect recipe for that. It's from the Pantry Mama blog and it is so good and so easy. You're going to start with 250 grams of warm milk, 7 grams of instant yeast, and 50 grams of sugar. You're going to add all of that to your stand mixer and gently combine. Next, you'll need 500 grams of bread flour, 100 grams of softened butter, 100 grams of sourdough starter discard, and 10 grams of salt. You'll also need two egg yolks.
ingredients to your stand mixer and using the dough hook, you are going to let that knead for six to eight minutes. to pull away from the bowl and look something like this. When that's done, you're going to cover and let it sit for an hour to double. I love using these Dollar Tree shower caps. I think I got a pack of 10 for a dollar. While that is setting, I am going to go ahead and refeed my starter. I don't measure anything, I just kind of eyeball it. I shoot for twice as much flour as I have of starter. And then I add distilled water from the fridge and give that a good stir, making sure I scrape the sides down. It should be the consistency of pancake batter. I know a lot of people say it should be an equal ratio of flour to water, but I have found that my starter does so much better whenever I use less water. It's been an hour and our bread has doubled, so now we are going to roll it out. At this point, we are going to divide it into eight pieces, or you can do 12 if you want smaller buns. like if we were doing a artisan loaf of sourdough bread, except it's for hamburger buns. So I started by kind of shaping them into little balls, and then I laid them out, folded them in on themselves, and then did my push and pulls. I'm not sure if there's a technical name for that, but it adds tension to the dough and helps give it that nice shape.
ahead and heat your oven to 350. Then you're going to get some parchment paper and line a cookie sheet and add your little hamburger buns to that. Then you will cover it with plastic wrap and let this sit for 30 minutes. absolutely delicious. I did add some butter on top towards the end of the cooking time to help them brown up a little more. like it's perfect I seriously will not go back to store-bought bread actually that's a lot I probably will because I have four kids and I get tired but you better believe when I have a little extra pep in my step like I did today I will be making these here is our completed burger it was so good the kids even loved it I thought it was great not only does this taste better than store-bought buns, but it's so much better for you. This had nine ingredients. The hamburger buns at stores, I don't even know, they probably have 30 to 40 plus ingredients. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.